The Philadelphia 76ers have a lot of work to do this offseason with free agency, trades, NBA draft, or hell, even maybe a signing trade. The Philadelphia 76ers and Daryl Morey have 60 mil in cap space. They have been linked to every free agent known to man. LeBron James, Paul George, DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, OG Ananobi, you name it. They have been linked to all these free agents. But the one I'm going to talk about today, as you can see by the title and thumbnail, is Clay Thompson. But first, make sure you hit that like. Subscribe and hit that notification bell for more 76ers content because Clay Thompson will be the ideal fit for the Philadelphia 76ers. I'm not talking about like a multi-year deal. I'm not talking like a three or four year max deal for a 34 year old player. I am not. I am asking for like a one year deal up for 10 mil. Give me one year 10 mil for Clay Thompson. If Clay decides to, you know what? I'm going to leave. I'm going to take my talents elsewhere. I need to show everyone that I'm still the best shooter after the previous season that he just had. Why not give him that chance? Why not be like, okay, Clay, you're one of the best shooters of all time. We're going to have you pair up with Jerome Bede and Tyrese Massey. Clay Thompson has never played with the center like Joel Embiid. Look at the center to your played with. Kayvon Looney, James Wiseman, JaVale McGee, etc., Clay Thompson has never played with the center quite like Joel Embiid. And Joel Embiid needs a shooter like Clay Thompson. We've seen what happened with Buddy Heald. It did not quite work out. Seth Curry and JJ Redick, they have been moving off screens, catching, shooting, corner threes. Those are the kind of players that Joel Embiid needs. And why not go after a player like Clay Thompson, who is taller than those guys, who's got one of the best releases of all time? Clay Thompson would be perfect for Joel Embiid. And if you look at the Golden State Warriors side, they're looking like the time has run out. The dynasty is kind of dying out. Why not have them rebuild around Curry and Jonathan Kuminga and have Clay Thompson walk? They'll be like, okay, Clay, we love having you here. We're going a different route. Go to a championship contender team and have the best of luck wherever you go. And I feel like that could be the Philadelphia 76ers. Clay Thompson, we have seen drop eight threes in the third quarter. We've seen him make like he we've seen him drop like 20 points in like 30 seconds. We've seen Clay Thompson step up when it matters the most. And that's what the Philadelphia 76ers need. They need someone who can step up and close out. Joel Embiid and Tyrese Maxey, they're getting there, but they're not a veteran. They're not a three-point sniper like Klay Thompson that knows how to step up when it matters the most and then know how to get on fire like that. They need someone in Klay Thompson. If they get him for a one-year 10 mil, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect for the Philadelphia 76ers. If you could build around Joel Embiid and Tyrese Massey with the Klay Thompson with the 3 and D, that would help so much. Joel Embiid would benefit so much. Same with Tyrese Maxey, because Tyrese Maxey would still be taking the ball up. Clay doesn't even have to take the ball up. He can just spot up two threes. He can just run around screens all day and just knock down threes. That's exactly what we need in Clay Thompson. So why not just take a shot at Clay? He's bouncing off of a horrific year, one of the worst years in his career due to injury, all that stuff. So why not give him another chance of press scenery, you know, just a rebirth of Clay Thompson? Because I'm telling you guys, if you're a shooter like Clay and you average around 40% from three your entire career, that shot never goes away. That shot never goes away. If you look up on YouTube, the J Law you know, five on five runs, you see Clay Thompson there. My God, Clay Thompson still looks like he could still knock down threes with the best of them. So why not have that be on the 76ers? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Clay Thompson. Are you for it? Are you not? Who else would you want on the 76ers for this offseason? Maybe a Malik Monk or something like that. But if the money is right, give me Clay Thompson every single day of the week 
twice on Sunday. If you're new here, please hit that like, hit that subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more 76 content. And I am out. MK out. Let's go six hours.